Congratulations on planning your trip to the Grand Canyon and looking into Trailer Village. Today you will learn about the campsites, park amenities, and more so that you are ready to book your reservation. Let's get started. One of the things you might do to plan for the Grand Canyon is to get on Google Maps. You will discover Trailer Village is the closest campground to the South Rim on the Grand Canyon with full hookups. If you want to be close, this is the park to stay at. First, let's discuss the location of Trailer Village and stay until the end to learn about welcome guests you will see in the campground. You are going to love your stay in Trailer Village. Imagine right now waking up in your own bed less than one mile from the south rim of the Grand Canyon. How does that make you feel? The signs are marked well to guide you into the RV park. However, review your maps well and pay attention. Here is a Google map to help you understand. You don't want to end up in the village with your big rig. We'll share why a little later. At Highway 64, you will turn onto Center Road and then take a right onto Market Plaza Road and another right onto Trailer Village Road to the RV Park. If you miss the turn onto Market Plaza, it's going to be unpleasant. When you pull into the campground, the registration office is a little shack. Located here, you will see garbage dumpsters and the bus stop too. We now know where to find Trailer Village. Time for a camping joke. Why didn't the elephant bring a duffel bag on his RV trip? Because he already had a trunk. Joke books make great gifts. We will put a couple recommendations in the description. The campground itself is separated into two halves and the layout is simple. To help, they were creative with the road names in the park. A Street through L Streets have curbs and good asphalt. Streets M through T are gravel and less improved. Yep, that's right, they use letters to mark their street names. When you make your reservation, you will want to know which half your site is located on. Trailer Village Road goes around the whole campground and also runs down the middle and splits the two halves. The campground is great for walks and is easy to navigate. We stayed at site 89 off M Street. All the sites are pull-throughs and angled well to get in and out. The trees can be low, and we did hit a couple with the RV. So expect to hit some branches if you have a Class A or fifth wheel. Next up, let's talk about facilities, and coming later, we will let you know about uninvited guests you will definitely want to see. There are three to four bathroom facilities in Trailer Village. However, the one next to our site was locked. The small bathrooms only include toilets and sinks. If you like using your RV for the toilet, shower, and sink, you're in the right campground. Down the road at the more rustic Mather campground are camper facilities. The camper facilities building is a short half mile walk from Trailer Village at the entrance to Mather campground. There is a parking lot with ample spaces if you need to drive. Here you will find a laundromat with 20 washing machines and 20 dryers. All are coin operated and in good condition. There are change machines and vending machines for your convenience. Included in the camper facilities is a store with some drinks, snacks, and camper supplies. Currently, standard washers are $2.50 and dryers are $1.25. Showers are also located here for your convenience. There's a $2.50 fee for five minutes of water. Let's discuss the South Rim a little and then we will get into campground amenities. The South Rim is like a small city. There is even a school system for residents. To get familiar with the area, think of the South Rim in four sections. Section one includes Trailer Village and Mather Campground as well as the Market and Yavapai Lodge. Mather Campground is large and spacious, provides no hookups, and has a welcoming tent camping area as well as RV sites. The second section is the Visitor Center. This is the typical National Park Interpretive Center and gift shop as well as bicycle rentals. You can also find a cup of coffee here too. Grand views from the South Rim are a short walk away. The village is full of housing and lodging and the train station. This is the busiest, most populated section of the South Rim. Here, you will find the Bright Angel Lodge and the famous El Tavar Hotel. The roads and parking are tight, People are walking everywhere. Cyclists come out of nowhere. And you will even see mule deer walking down the street. An RV in here would have problems. The fourth is, of course, the South Rim that stretches from Hermit's Rest at the far west to Yaki Point on the far east. The South Rim and the bike trails are the two locations that are dog friendly. So have control of your dogs and be prepared to encounter other dogs on these trails. You will want to learn more about these areas as you will spend time in all of them. If you are enjoying and finding value today, subscribe to our site for other videos of the Grand Canyon. We will continue with the campground amenities next, and later we will get into the campsite details. Let's talk garbage. Bear-proof containers are located in the middle of the campground at each street intersection. Additionally, there are three dumpsters located by the check-in station. One of them is marked Recycle. However, I was pretty upset walking dogs one morning when I saw the Grand Canyon garbage staff dump all three dumpsters into the same truck. We were leaving that day, so I didn't inquire. The check-in station is usually operated during normal business hours, seven days a week. They are great at listening and answering questions. Make sure you have a map of the South Rim as the streets can be confusing. Finally, the shuttle stops here routinely to take you around the South Rim. There isn't a lot in the campground for play. You won't find a playground. You won't see any swings. We really enjoyed playing washers and ladder ball when we had downtime. We'll put links in our description for some play stuff to take with you. 
Now that we have discussed around the campground, let's discuss what you can expect at your site. We're focused on Trailer Village, so the video is giving you our best visual. Our other videos will share more details on hikes and trails around the Grand Canyon. Make sure you stay until the end to learn about and prepare for the uninvited guests at the Trailer Village. Trailer Village is the only campground in Grand Canyon National Park with full hookups including 30 and 50 amp electric water and sewer. You will be able to set up camp easily and carefree after listening to these next few tips. The water pressure can be strong. Make sure you have a pressure regulator. We'll put links in our description with the items we use so that you can get more detailed information. The Western Improved sites have charcoal grills and direct TV hookups. You shouldn't need extensions as the hookups are in a good location, but we always travel with ours. We also plug into electrical with a surge protector. Our site and others were mostly level, but not really. To sleep well, make sure you pack leveling pads and plan to use them. In addition to the site pads, the rest of the site is stone and sparse grass. The whole campground is a parking lot with some room between RVs, but not enough to spread out and play unless you are fortunate to get a wide site like Site 89. Every site has a picnic table. Let's talk about the benefits to camping in Trailer Village. And you won't want to miss the end of this video when we share what you will see walking by your RV. Here are some great benefits to camping in Trailer Village. First, food is difficult to get in the Grand Canyon. It is way better to RV and take care of food with your RV. We went out to dinner and there was a long wait and reservations need to be made months in advance. The sit-down restaurants we found were in Bright Angel Lodge and the El Tovar Hotel. Reservations are required for the El Tovar restaurant. Visualize you and your family grilling out in the campground and enjoying yard games to ease into the evening instead. This is way better than standing in line, sometimes waiting hours for a table. If you are missing a few items to prepare your meal, the Village Market in Delhi is just outside the campground and has a solid selection. Two, start to imagine biking the South Rim from your RV. The bike trail system is awesome and connects Trailer Village to the rest of the South Rim with the bike trail connector at the check-in station and the trail connector on the east side of the campground. We bike to Kaibab Trail and Yaki Point from the RV. Biking to the visitor center from the RV is a lot of fun too. As you bike, you will experience the meandering trail by the market in Yavapai Lodge, and then the trail follows Yavapai Lodge Road to the visitor center. On this portion of the trail, you start to enjoy the smooth asphalt, many turns and hills that many less enjoyable trails lack. We even drove to Bright Angel with our bikes and rode out to Hermit's Rest. We have two videos that detail biking the South Rim and we'll put links to them in our description for you to check out later. There is more to this video, so stay until the end, and we want to take time now to thank you for spending time with us. We really hope you are getting excited about the Grand Canyon and feeling a little excitement about what you are planning. The Grand Canyon will be great for you. Hiking is wonderful in the Grand Canyon. Be sure to check out the hikes we did on our channel. Trailer Village has room for pets. There's plenty of space to walk dogs and waste bags are available by the bathrooms. There are acres of pine trees with open space to stroll and leave the asphalt. You will want to keep your dogs on a leash and have them leashed before you open the RV door. If not, they may chase after the guests we alluded to earlier. We had a bird making a nest in the grill of our truck our whole stay. We think the same bird actually flew into our RV the day we first parked. Every morning and night, if you pay attention, you will also see elk. A mama elk and her baby walk through the campground daily and you need to peek out the door before you run out. Click the playlist or featured video now to continue planning.